Alright guys, it's Briggsy Boy here, welcome back to my channel and today I have another football match day vlog for you guys to sit back and enjoy. So today's game is Rovers versus West Brom. It's another trip back to the Hawthorns, a ground that I went to last season, but I'm looking forward to making the trip back. It's going to be my first Rovers away game this season, but uh, going into the facts and figures into the pre-match. Uh, Blackburn at the moment sit 14th in that league table on 7 points. West Brom sit 8th, they are on 9 points, so not a bad start to the season for them. A team which many would expect to be pushing around the playoff area again come May. Blackburn will be without a couple of players going into today's game, so Ben Brereton is going to miss. He is likely going to need some keyhole surgery on his knee, and Mowbray has said uh, in the press that it's likely to be around 6 to 8 weeks before we see him back, which is a shame and hopefully we'll start bagging some goals when he gets back this season. Uh, also, we will be without tossing Adarabayo, which is a shame. I think he's a very talented centre-back, but it is just one of those. Uh, I think also Amari Bell, the Saint, is likely to miss this game. He's picked up a slight knock. So, in regards to West Brom then, I think the key player to look out for today is the new summer signing up top. Kenneth Zahor. He's already bagged a couple this season, the former Cardiff City striker. You know, he's played at the top level, he's done a good job, and it is a very good appointment on West Brom's behalf there, I think. A uh, previous encounter with West Brom at the Hawthorns, as I touched upon, it was a 1-1 draw, and what an unforgettable game that was. Richie Smallwood ended up in goal for us at one stage, and uh, former Rovers loanee midfielder Harrison Reed scored this absolute stunner. <laughs> So then my score prediction for today's game, I am going to go with a 1-1 draw, perhaps a little bit optimistic, but we do have a fairly good record when we travel away to the Hawthorns. I think it's something like we have only lost twice in the last seven encounters, which isn't bad away from home. Before we do move on with the vlog though, we do have the thought of a West Brom fan and vlogger. So let's hear what he has to say going into the game this afternoon. Hello, Nafi Shana. I'm WBA FC Arfi. Going to give my thoughts ahead of the game. And yeah, you know, the West Brom started the season fairly well. 1-2, uh, drew 3. We are unbeaten. I think we could have turned one or two of them draws into wins, which is frustrating. We also haven't had a clean sheet yet this season, which is also quite annoying. But yeah, I do think we'll get a clean sheet on Saturday. I think we'll beat you 1-0. Um, I think you guys should look out for Kovinovic and Matthias Pereira. You know, come the end of the season, I do think we'll be in that top six somewhere. And I think you guys will be in between mid-table and relegation. OK, so we are now going to take up at the squad lineup that I will personally go for for today's game, looking at the tactics and formations and that sort of thing. So, getting up a visual representation here is what I will personally go for going into today's game, OK? So we've got Walton as the keeper. He's done a solid job since he's come in there. So uh, his place is uncontended, really, in my opinion. Ryan Nambi, I've gone in right back. Lennyhan and Williams as the centre-back pairing. Greg Cunningham as left back, of course. Been really impressed with Greg. Travis and Johnson make up the two centre-mid pairings. What a great job they've done together so far this season. Oh, we've got Gallagher out wide on the right-hand side. I know his prime position is in the centre there. But he's been doing all right there, you know, and it does seem to be paying off. Armstrong on the left, Dak as the cam, and then Danny Graham as the sole striker. Of course, this formation does line up as technically a 4-5-1, something that we do like to play. However, you can adapt it to the playing style depending how the match is going. This is probably the safe option going up against West Brom away. Uh, we know that they can hurt you, we know that they can be quick on the counter-attack, so you've got to keep that uh, sort of awareness about you. But obviously, depending on how the game's going, you do have that option of Gallagher coming forward like so and Armstrong and just tucking in uh, with Graham, Dak still being there. And you can sort of make it into that 4-3-3. But uh, I guess we'll see when team news comes out an hour before the match. It is fairly early in the morning, but I will, of course, be getting the coach over to the Hawthorns. I'm looking forward to this away game. It's going to be top-notch, I think. Very much looking forward to it, as I say. And, uh, yeah, I'll stop talking. We'll crack on. And uh, let's kick-start the vlog. Let's head off to the match. <laughs> 